Mud and scuffing have long been the ruin of shoes and boots. In medieval times, they used wax to soften and waterproof leather footwear, but it didn't polish it. By the early 20th century, shoe polish as we know it was invented. It both gives shoes a shine and makes them last a long time. A great shoe shine takes a bit of polish and some elbow grease. A vigorous brushing can enhance the job and help transform your shoes from drab to fab. To make shoe polish, they start with mineral spirit solvent and different combinations of carnauba wax. They load the waxes into a wax melter and heat them to 127 degrees Celsius. They cook for 15 minutes while beaters blend it all together. This is dye fluid. This one is a deep black shade. In another tank, they add the dye fluid and waxes to the solvent blend. Agitators mix it for three minutes. Tin container bottoms tumble down a chute and up a magnetic conveyor belt. A worker flips the tins right side up, then pushes them onto another conveyor. It lines them up and they're ready to be filled. Automated arms space the tins as they arrive at the filling head so they don't bunch up. The filling heads inject hot liquid shoe polish into the tins. The nozzles fill the tins with a precise amount so there's no spillover. The polish now needs to cool down and solidify so the tins travel through a cooling tunnel. When they emerge, the polish is a thick paste. Workers perform a breaking strength test to be sure the final product has the right consistency. The polish-filled tins now funnel onto a conveyor that merges with a feeder loaded with lids. The feeder lowers the lids onto the tins full of shoe polish. A compression wheel presses the lids in place with just the right amount of force. And this polish is now ready to shine. There's a different packaging system for liquid shoe polish. A blow molding machine forces hot air into plastic to form containers. Then the mechanized rack holding the containers rotates and places the newly formed bottles on another conveyor. It moves them under a flame which melts the rough edges. Revolving conveyors move under filling heads which pump liquid polish into them. Workers insert valves into applicators. Then this machine press fits the applicators onto the polish filled containers. Using hydraulic pressure, another machine snaps clear domes onto the applicators. Rollers affix labels onto both sides of the bottles. The bottles then move through an inspection station. A mirror helps workers scrutinize the labeling job. A technician now takes a preliminary reading of the gloss on some leather. He applies some paste polish and rubs it in with a horsehair brush. He takes another reading and the gloss on this leather has increased by a factor of two, which means this polish passes muster and it's ready to add luster to your footwear. 